Hi everyone, today I'm a part of a Nightmare Before Christmas collab. I'm doing a DIY of these Jack Skellington earrings, so if you want to know how I made these, stay tuned and let's hop into it. So while this particular video I actually made on my Cricut, um, you can easily do this by just cutting out sheets. I used uh, faux leather and I'm actually sizing down my circle to one and a half inches and then I'm sizing my Jack Skellington face to uh, the size of the circle that fits the circle. And you'll see continuing on um, what I do, but uh, like I said, you don't need a Cricut. You can easily cut out shapes um, for the circle or whatever shape you want and then you can actually draw on with paint markers or sharpies onto the faux leather and then I mod podged it later so um, I'm just resizing this I'm doubling it and then I'm actually going to group them together so that they stay together um, when I move them around that way um, sometimes it's annoying when they move to as two separate things um, so I like to group them together and then as I go into making it I actually end up having two copies, so I have four circles and four faces in total. I'm going to use thin garment leather for the leather, for the faux leather. Like I said, um, I'm doing two copies, and then I'm going on to the next screen for my Cricut. Um, and then when you do faux leather, I always use painter's tape and my knife tool. Um, you can only use the knife tool with the Cricut Maker, so if you have a Cricut Explore Air or a Cricut Joy, you won't be able to cut the faux leather, but like I said, you can still cut out a circle. Um, if you, It's like literally just a circle, so if you don't have a Cricut Maker, I just wanted these to be like pretty perfect circles. Um, and yeah, here's my Cricut cutting. For faux leather, it typically does four passes through the faux leather, and then I ended up with four different circles. Um, then I went in with some premium vinyl, some permanent vinyl um, black to do his face, and um, the cuts only take just a few seconds, um, well, maybe like a couple minutes in total to do both the circles and the faces. Once again, you can easily draw these out. Jack's face is actually fairly easy to draw, especially with a template if you're looking at that. Um, but yes, then I ended up with my four circles. Um, you can use whatever adhesive you have. I was using uh, super glue. I typically like this one with the brush end. I can leave the link to this um, in the description off of Amazon because I really, really like this. I use it for a lot of the things that I make. Um, just be careful with getting it on your hands. But yeah, I'm putting two of those circles together. Um, to then make two separate earrings instead of having four circles. Next, you can see me struggling to weed this. Um, originally, it cut Jack's nose as well, but then I ended up just scrapping that because it kept coming off of like literally everyone. And so I ended up just um, drawing Jack's nose on. Then I'm taking some transfer tape and just transferring the images onto my two circles. I like doing um, both sides of the earrings. It's up to you if you only want to do one side. And that one got stuck on me. <laughs> um, if you want to do just one side, then you'd only need two faces. But because earrings are front and back, and I always view them as front and back, I wanted them to be front and back faces. Um, so I'm just doing that for the, there I am struggling with that stitch, um, or his face. <laughs> um, I wanted to do both sets of earrings. So here I am doing the second one. So now that I have both of the faces on, I'm taking a sharp needle tool and just poking a hole in the faux leather. It's fairly easy. Um, then I'm taking two small jump rings. I think these are five millimeters, but you can use whatever, like literally anything that you have on hand. I'm just using flat nose pliers um, to open them and put them through the little hole that I did. And then I am just attaching some hardware to it. You can use whatever earring backings that you like. Um, these are also the ones that I have on hand. So I want to use what I had and I do have, I have been loving the dangle earrings. I've really been loving making them. And so here is my final, final product of my Jack Skellington earrings. Uh, like I said, I did um, put some noses on him. But yes, please, please go check out all the other videos. Here's a close-up of what it looks like while I'm wearing it. But check out all the other videos. Thank you for watching.